Hello everybody, welcome to Warband NA. I'm your host Boogie. And I'm Raid. And I am E-Man, and welcome to Warband NA. Tonight we're broadcasting you guys GA vs. Balian. It's a fight for Balian to stay into Robert the Final Matthew. Four. If they get lucky, they'll get into the Final Four if they, Robert if they win it. Yeah, basically the breakdown is, is that Balian right now, this is like, they have to win this. If they lose, then they're pretty much out. If they win, then they're still mathematically alive. And they still need hope that their opponents falter a little in their own matches. Uh, just one one quick note, Kradok, I still see it is offline. Is that because of the delay? Or Should be delay, yeah. Alright. You guys want to keep on talking about the matchup? We'll get the duel going here soon. I think they um, just finished. They've just finished? Alright, well then uh, we'll find out from there. Uh, and yes, we are live on the screen. Uh, Raid, if you want to start talking a little bit about the uh, two two groups that are going into it, and uh, we can uh, go to the first match. Yeah, sure. Um... It's two top tier teams, obviously, everybody knows that. Uh, GA, they're pretty much, I mean, depending on who you ask, uh, number one or number two, as far as, like, you know, you can say the power rankings go, as far as, you know, the the way people look at them in, in the tournament. And uh, Balian's kind of fallen off a little bit lately, but um, they're also a really, really high tier team with a lot of experienced players, like, uh, you know, Mad Dog has been the Nations Cup captain, and he's played on the Nations Cup team. They also have players like Peasant and Zero. Um, who have also, you know, they have the international tournament experience at a really high level. Um, and then GA is just full of them. They're full of like Europe's best. So both teams are experienced and uh, both teams kind of know what to expect from, from the other one. GA is definitely going to be playing the closed maps and they're definitely going to be looking to uh, play it slow and let LaRue get shots off. At this higher ping, that's kind of how they like to play. I'm not sure how they play on their home servers. I, I think it may be the same, but their focus is a lot on, on the range. And I think Balian's actually going to get helped out a lot because they have zero back for this one. And he's kind of an answer for LaRue. So I think that should help them quite a bit. Balian's a bit weaker on their infantry, but they're stronger on the, their, their cav for sure. So um, just what to expect, I would look Balian to try to stretch their legs on the open map. That's the same thing every team tries to do against GA, but Balian has strong open. It's not like they're just trying to exploit the weakness. That's also the, also their strength, so. I see GA as like a legend, honestly. From from having been in the WNL and seeing their performance there, and then seeing them come overseas and do a really good job here in UNAC, like, I expect a lot from these guys. But Balian's really do got a lot to prove, though. They have a lot to uh, to lose here, really. The final four standing. They need a dominant performance in order to succeed here. Just winning won't cut it. Well, GA for sure is going to be the final four unless they have like a, a massive, a massive like implosion. But once again, talking about the. Uh... Talking about the experience level, that's not going to happen. And so, yeah, Balian, like, basically they're playing for uh, the, the, their playoff lives, you could call it. So, I mean, we, we have to see the best Balian. It's pretty much win or go home for them. So, do we know uh, what the map choices are yet, or are we still waiting on everything? Looks like we're going to Valorne, uh, Swadia versus Vegas. Valorian is a closed map. Uh, do you know who picked this one? GA did. GA picked the closed map. I know they really like the uh, this map. I, I've seen seen them do their tactics really well. In this one, I think they have, I think they know where to go and about every every little piece of it. First uh, first round is going to be a uh, practice round, and then they'll uh, move on from there. What's your thought on this, Raid? Valorant? Yes. 
Well, I think Balian could have done a lot worse. You know, like, if they would have had to play him on maybe, like, Solace or something, that would have been much more difficult. This map, it is, it, it's more closed than they would like, but it's not out of their comfort zone. You know, they're not like a WK or a BKS where they want to play, like, open planes, you know, something like that. Like, ultimately, just, just cap everywhere. They should do okay as far as their stylistic choice. You know, this map is too far to the comfort zone, like I said, so um, it could have been a lot worse. And what Bailey needs to do if they want to win is they need to at least try to keep the score deficit. You know, like don't don't get 8 would They need to at least pick up some rounds here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to win on the closed map, but they need to pick up enough to where they can ace the open map. That's my opinion. It's good thought. And what GA needs to do is basically stop Valiant here and hope GA just needs to do what they do. They need to play slow and methodical, and, and, and it's a very, like, plodding, unstoppable force. It's kind of slow and kind of deliberate, but it's, it, I mean, the way they play, man, like, they just get a stranglehold on the map, and, and you can't put, it's like trying to fight an empty jacket. Anywhere you push, it just goes somewhere else, you know? Like, they kite so well. Some people call it kiting, other people call it running, but teach their own. GA yep. are so professional that they have blueprints of prime positioning for nearly every map they play. They're that dedicated. So, that they picked Rat Market here, there's a lot of areas they can set up their archers for some crossfires, and they like to do that. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna play this map just like that. They're gonna have uh, crossbows sitting in, in crossfire positions, and it's really up to Balian. Like, w w everyone knows what GA is going to do. So, does Balian want to try to rush him? Do they want to try and, you know, put the pressure on, or are they going to wait for Master? The conservative choice here is to wait for Master. So, you're not being exposed to all those crossfire positions. And it looks like that's what Balian's opting to do. Balian is coming in with uh, four cab, three archers, which is a uh, no infantry at all in this map. And GA. Rush straight for the tower. Of course, Valiant, I don't think, is going to engage them in the tower with four cab and three archers. Yeah, they, they won't contest. I, I think that is that is a byproduct of Mad Dog knowing. And I, I talked to him last week. Like He knows that GA is weak in cab, but I think Mad Dog's going to overcommitting here with, with four cab on this map. They're going to just run into each other. Like You need infantry to, to anvil and hammer. You can't just have a bunch of hammers. You know, he has no anvil, so I don't think the four cavs going to be very effective. He might want to drop two of those, bring him down to nth. Yep, give those other cavs something to kind of base off of. Master just popped in market. Uh, GA has one cab, Shima, uh, and three infantry, all with all pikes. I'm and amazed I... he got the cab up there. For what purpose? To jump off and spear someone? I think Shima's just showing off right there. <laughs> yeah, and I mean... GA has all pikes. <laughs> What's Balian gonna do against that? We'll find out here soon. Um, looks like Balian is coming up. GA is not going to the flag. They're holding their own on uh, their own spawn. Uh, Mad Dog is taking the tower and taking a good flank on his own. Zero takes down M with a headshot. Uh, Bloody gets a shot in the back of Black. And those cab aren't really doing much right there. Scott Ray and Zero both go down really fast. Black goes down to Deacon. They're just getting stopped by that all pipe, just as uh, Mad was saying. Or Raid was saying earlier. Shim is trying to take down Mad Dog, but uh, Craven comes in to protect him. Ron Burgundy's doing things. Not enough, but he's so Burgundy did three kills, two kills right there. And a bump. good for him. And a bump. Mad Dog gets a shot on Scar, and we got a uh, 4v3 happening right now. It's anyone's game. 3v2 right now. Ron Burgundy takes on three people. Cleric Johnson, Shima. All Pikes uh, Ron from his horse. He's very low on health. Mad Dog gets a costly team kill. That's Shima big. Shima loses his horse. And it's, it's time to get to the flag. Mad Dog versus uh, Shima and Deacon. Deacon is on the flag. He's an all pike. It's shot in the back by uh, Mad Dog as Craven showed his horse, uh, tried to get his horse to it. Shima does a nice maneuver, gets around uh, the horse and hits Mad Dog, but Craven finishes him off. That's a win for Balian. 
Balian was in trouble there. They were in huge trouble, and Ron Burgundy kind of stepped up, you know, and did what had to be done, and that's what playmakers do. That's and what that's Ron it. Burgundy does. Fuck you, San Diego. <laughs> No, they, 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 they were really wobbly, wobbly there at the beginning. If it, yeah, if it wasn't for Ron just like going Super Saiyan right there, they would have really lost that that fight. Like I was saying, they don't have the inf. If you have inf, you can push them into the all pikes and you can force the, the the infantry to bring their swords out. If you don't have the inf, they keep the all pikes out. So, uh, you know, they I'm gonna say they got lucky there. It's not. I wouldn't look to repeat that. They're kind of playing with fire with four cav against a bunch of all packs and crossbows. Yeah, and they're keeping the same uh, setup. They're going to the same place. Uh, GA is doing the exact same thing again. It seems like they liked what they saw last time and see if they can uh, do it again. Sam was parading the horse atop the roof. No real purpose again. Or some strategic one that we've yet to uncover. Well, why get it shot up? And as we wait, uh, we got... Basically, they're just waiting for Master right now. Um, G had a good Master pop right there. I wonder what's going to happen if it changes someplace else. Either way, they still have to go through all those all pikes. Yeah, I'm expecting a lot of flag pops. Balian's not going to chance the crossfires. And if Balian wins this one again, I wonder if GA is going to switch it up, see if they have to charge in there to set something up. I don't think they will. I think they're going to... They stick to their strat, you know, and they may bring more crossbows in, but... And that uh, flag pops the same location. Uh, GA... Uh, looks like they are probably going to do the exact same thing. Valian can't buy a Master Pop. <laughs> That's two very unlucky spawns in a row. I hate Deacon, that. Deacon is waiting in the uh, tower, see if he's going to wait for Mad Dog to come up and uh, engage him. Mad Dog's taking a different route this time, though. GA is giving up on spawn this time, so it's a different approach. They're staying a little closer to the tower and the cheese. Nobody's on the flag right now. Anders headshots Mad Dog. Mad Dog was trying to do a flank on his own, and I think Shima had spotted him and just finished him off. Oh, those Mad Dog maneuvers that don't work out. Um, you win big or you lose big with those. Reminiscent yes. of Vandenar. Yeah, Mad Dog won the last round. Let's see what happens with the rest of the guys without that flank. Hey, he's getting their their pikes and crossbows set up near Master. It's bad news for Balian. They can't let him get their feet planted. Alrighty. Uh, GA is getting closer to the flag. No one's on it yet. M stop Scott Ray. Scott's and in trouble. GA have a team of archers barely. that are being rammed Zero by horses. Shimo, Ron Burgundy gets Anders. That's the uh, crossbow, Anders. You, uh, Unix takes down Cleric. That was an